Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. How are you all doing? You good? Cool. I'm good too, thanks for asking. Anyway, today I'm going to teach you a really cool and visual color change that you can use in any card trick you want. Um, one thing about this trick, in my mind, I think that I came up with it because I haven't seen anyone else like do this trick anywhere else. I haven't seen this around anywhere. I, I didn't see anyone else do this trick. So... In my mind, I think I came up with it, and I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. And uh, if you've seen it before, let me know in the comments below. But uh, I'm still going to teach it to you, because in my mind, I came up with it. So I'm going to teach it to you, because I think it's really cool, and I think it's just another really cool trick that I think you all should know how to do. Since you're magicians, and I'm a magician, and we can share stuff, and we can teach each other stuff, and yeah. So, here's how it looks. So for this trick, I'm going to be using the David Blaine's White Lines deck of cards. It's a very nice deck of cards. I suggest you go get some. They're really good cards. I got a few of them myself. They're really good cards. Okay, so for this trick, you can have the cards shuffled by the spectator. And once the cards are shuffled and completely mixed up and in no order whatsoever, you go ahead and ask someone to touch a card, whatever card they touch, that is the card that they get. You gotta remember that card, okay? Do not forget it. Because you're going to be you're gonna see it later on and you're gonna be confused and what the hell just happened there. Okay. So that's the card lost in the center of the deck. Now it's up to you, you can shuffle up the cards more, or you can just keep the card where it is, because uh, that's what I like to do anyways, because I don't want anyone to think that I'm doing it in sneaky, so once the card goes in. It stays there and I'm not going to do anything else. So from here, I'm going to take the next card, the Seven of Clubs. And basically, what I'm going to do is change it, just like that, into their selected card, the Jack of Diamonds. And that is what the trick, or the color change, looks like. Let me show you one more time. We have the Six of Diamonds. You take it, and you just change it into the two of spades if that was the card that the spectator selected okay so that's the trick if you all are going to be watching the rest of the video to learn how this works let me know by hitting the like button please hit the like button because if you do something magical happens it changes color I swear to god it's really cool anyways let's learn how to do it okay I'm gonna set out for this one okay so the first thing you want to do is get yourself a deck of cards so that you can be learning as we go along because I know, I know, that as of right now, when you're watching this video, you still don't have a deck of cards in your hands. I know you're going to watch this whole video without a deck of cards. So please, go get that deck of cards and follow along as I teach this to you. Did you get your cards yet? Okay, so now that you've got your deck of cards, you need to know how to do a, f a couple of things. First of all, you need to know how to do a charlier cut or a one-handed cut whatever way you like to call it I'm gonna call it a one-handed cut so you need to know how to do a one-handed cut and I know my audience the people who watch my videos I know everyone who comments and likes my videos and I know you guys you guys know what these are you know how to do a one-handed cut but for the people who don't know how to do a one-handed cut I'm just gonna show you really quickly what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the cards like this you know you have three fingers here your pointer finger here and your thumb here that's a mechanics grip all you do is you get your pinky finger and you put it at the bottom. And what you're going to do is you're going to raise the deck like this, and you're going to allow half the cards to fall, and then your pointer finger goes right here in front, and it's going to push this bottom half back like that. Now, with these middle fingers here, you're going to, go, you're going to move them forward, and by moving them forward, it's going to allow these cards to go down like that. And once the cards go down like that, you get your pointer finger and you bring it out again, and your thumb here pushes these cards down. And that is the one hand cut. So one more time, you raise the deck off your hands. So not like this, but you raise it off your hands. Let half of the cards fall. Then your pointer finger comes in front to push the bottom cards up. Then these cards, with these two fingers right here, these two fingers go forward. That allows these cards to fall. And then your thumb, you, you, you take your pointer finger out now. And your thumb 
just pushes these cards down like that and that is the one handed cut. Now once you know how to do the one handed cut, now you need to know how to do the paintbrush change. Because what I call this trick is the Charlier paintbrush. That's what I'm going to call it. But again, let me know if you guys have heard of this trick or seen it anywhere. Because I'd like to know. Because in my mind, I came up with this trick without even knowing that it existed. So, okay. So now you know how to do the one handed cut. Now you need to know how to do the paintbrush change. And I'll leave the link in the description to properly learn how to do a paintbrush change. You need to know how to do a one handed cut, the paintbrush change, and a very simple sleight of hand basic, the double lift. So, again, I know my audience, I know you guys watching this video, you know how to do a double lift, but basically, you take one card and another card, and you flip them over as one card, and that's a double lift. You're basically um, making it look like you're given the illusion that this is just one card. It looks like the top card is the Six of Diamonds, but it's actually the King of Diamonds. I'm just turning two cards over as one. I'm just turning the two cards, the two top cards over as one card. Oh, that was three cards. I'm just turning two cards over as one. There's actually two cards there, but it looked like it was just one card. So that's a double lift. So once you know how to do all of those three things, I'm going to show you a very simple control because you need to have a card selected and then controlled to the top. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to have the card spread out like this and have anyone touch a card. Let's just say this is the card that they touch. You square it up with the one above it and then you show it to them. So they're seeing the tree of diamonds. So that's the tree of diamonds right there. And once they have the card locked in their memory, you go down, you take the two cards, you set them on top of the pile in your left hand, and then you take the top card and you transfer it to the pile on your right hand and keeping it out jogged because you're going to take the rest of the cards and put them on top like that and you have controlled the selection to the top of the deck now let me do that again but with the card face up so you're going to go through the cards ask them to touch any card they want let's just say that they touch this one right here you square it up with the one above it you show what it is obviously it's, obviously it's face up so you can't see it but you know it's there then you come down, you take the two cards and you take the top card and you transfer it to the one on your right hand to the packet on your right hand and with the, less, the rest of the cards left on your left hand you put them on top of the cards like that and you've controlled their card to the top of the deck so from here you can have the cards you can have the spectator push in the cards or you can push in the cards now, once all that is done you can give the cards a small shuffle just as long as you maintain the top card because you don't want to lose it. So, there it is. You want to just keep the card on top. Okay, so once you have all that done, you uh, have a card selected and you've controlled it to the top. You can actually control it to the top whatever you like. You can also do it this way. You can have a card selected, color it to the bottom of the deck, so it's here, and shuffle it to the top. Because that's, yeah, that's what you can do if you like to have the card shuffled. But for me, I just like to have the card placed in the center, pushed in, and nothing else done. Because it's more fair that way. But a lot of people like to shuffle the cards as well, but that's just what I like. Okay. So now you're here with your card. Uh, okay, you know what? I just lost it. <laughs> okay, so let's just say that was the card that we picked. So now you're controlling the card to the top of the deck. What you're going to do is you're going to do a double lift. So you do a double lift like that. So the Queen of Diamonds, and underneath the Queen of Diamonds is the Four of Hearts. You're going to pick up the two cards as one and you want to make sure that they stay completely squared because if you, do, if you don't do that, they're going to see that you have two cards and that's going to ruin the trick. So as you do the double lift, you take up the two cards as one and you want to make sure they're completely squared up so that they only see one card. And from here, now that you know how to do the one-handed cut, you want to do half of it by doing this. Let half the cards fall push the bottom card up, let the top packet fall, and you stop here. Okay? Because remember, when you do the full one-handed cut, the last part is to let your thumb push the rest on the top. So that's not what you do. You just go as far as here, and from here, you basically do the paper exchange on the bottom packet. That's basically what it is. It's just a paper exchange on half the cards. So again, the paper exchange. Um, so if you want to learn how to do the paper exchange, basically, 
you use your thumb to separate the cards just like that, just a small bit. And once the cards have been separated, you bend the cards like this, and you release the qu the queen or whatever card you're is. Uh, you release it with, off of your thumb, and it's going to flick off like that. And in that motion, once it flicks off, you're going to go like this, basically like that. Okay. So the paintbrush change. I'll just show it to you quickly. Oops. So I'll show it to you quickly. You do your double lift. You lift up the two cards as one, and you're going to take the card, come in contact with the edge of the deck, and you separate the two cards, bend the two cards, and let the random card flick off of your thumb as you do this motion from one end to the opposite end, as you do that motion. And that's going to look like this, in slow motion, separate the cards, let the random card flick off your thumb, as you go from one end to the other end. And in fast motion, that looks like this. Just like that. Okay? So you're doing that same thing, but once you're, you're doing that same thing in a charlier cut, so you're doing half of a charlier cut, and you're doing that same thing on this half of the deck. You come in contact with the cards like this to the edge, you bend the cards, separate the cards, let the random card flick off your thumb, at the same time of going from one end to the other end like this. You're just doing that. Sorry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you're just doing this. Like like a paintbrush. You're just brushing the deck like that. Okay? And once the card is changed, you let the card fall and you bring it out and you show that that was our card. Okay? So one more time, you have a card selected. So let's just say this one squared up at the top one. Show what it is. Take the two cards and put them onto the one on your left hand. Then transfer the top card to the packet on your right hand. And then put the rest of the cards on top. And you've controlled their selection to the top. You square what they think is their card up with the deck. And from here, you do a double lift. So it's the four of spades. And you know yourself a double lift means that their card is underneath. You pick the two of them up as one. Do a half of a Charlier cut. And then from here, you do a paper change on this half of the deck. So I'll do it slowly. You separate the cards, bend the cards, and let the random card flick off your thumb at the same motion of going from one end to the other end, brushing it from one end to the other end like that. You're just brushing the cards like that, like a paintbrush. That's why it's called the paper change. You just brush from one, one end to the other end. And i done it again, sorry. There we go. And then you close the cards. You take it out and you show that was your card. And do it one more time in full speed. You have a card picked. That one right there. Take it, put it into the center of the deck, square everything up, and you do your double lift. So you do your double lift, the two diamonds not your card, and you do a change, and that was your selection, the Queen of Spades. So that was the trick. I hope you all liked it. Um I just thought I'd teach it to you because like I know, yeah, you know how, if you know how to do the one-handed cut and you know how to do the paintbrush change, then you don't need to watch this video because you know how to do it. But I just wanted to, just to teach it to you anyway because it's actually very, it's actually a very good trick because usually in the paintbrush change, you do this right, and you have their, you have not their card and then it changes into their card, and that's good at all. But when you do that, sometimes you would have someone who would want to know where the other card went. And they will look at the top card and they'll go, oh, that's where it went. Now I know how the trick works. And what you would want to do then to avoid that from happening is right after you do the change, you have to do a one-handed cut to hide that other card. So then when they look at the top card, it's not there. And that's, that's okay and all. You can do that. It works. It's just as effective. But I wanted to come up with a way to... I wanted to come up with a way to not have anything to do after I do a change because usually when you do a change the the other card ends up on top and you don't really want them to see the top card you just want them to just look at this card because it's their selection so I want, so I came up with a way of just putting two things together I, I just put two and two together one handed cut, paper change, bloop, put them together and, it, and it's just one cool trick so like because look for a paper change, one more time, when you do a paper change, the the other card, if they want to know where the other card went, it's here, but you don't want it to know that, and you have to do one-handed cut to hide it. So what I came up with was the 
uh, the Charlier paintbrush is what I'm going to call it. I came up with that because it's cool because when you do it, I'll show it to you there, when you do it, the, the six of diamonds, it goes into the center of the deck. So now if you want to look at the top card, it's not there. And it's not on the bottom. So you're safe and you can give the deck out for inspection and the, and the card out for inspection straight away. You don't have to do a one-handed cut. You don't have to do anything else. You just do the change and you're done. So that's just one thing I like about it. And it's actually a nice and visual trick as well if you if you practice it properly and do it good. It looks nice. Pimpers change is nice, but after the pimpers change you have to hide that card by doing a one hand cut and I didn't want to do that. So what I came up with was doing a one hand cut with the pimpers change so that you don't have to hide it because it's already hidden and it's not on top anymore. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Anyways, so that was the trick. Again, I hope you liked it and if you did and if you haven't already, please hit the like button. I really appreciate it and um I'm, I, I don't feel like I'm really good at teaching tricks. I honestly think that I'm actually not the best at teaching tricks. Every time I'm making a video of me teaching a trick, I honestly feel like I'm not doing a good job. So, <laughs> Jesus. Let me know in the comments below. Please let me know if you actually learned something. Because I honestly feel like that I'm very bad at teaching tricks. And it's like you still know how to do the trick. But I, just, I feel like I'm not good at explaining things. So let me know what you think about this tutorial in the, in the comments below. I'd love to hear if you actually learned something or if I just made a mess of this video. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.